Okay, third grade, I hope you like that Petunia video. Let's try drawing her now. I'm looking at Petunia and I want to start with the top of her head. So I'm putting my pencil right here. Maybe you could divide your paper into fourths is a good place to start. And I'm going to start with a big kind of S shape like that. So I'm following the contour of the top of her head around. And then let's start with the beak out that way, a triangle. Everyone's petunia is gonna look different and that's okay. Then we wanna keep the neck pretty skinny and go around here. And a new challenge for us is to see how petunia's feet kind of flap as she walks. So her foot that is on this side, we're gonna draw right overlapping her body and then you can erase this line. And when she walks here, you'll see that her back foot comes behind. And I'm just doing three little bumps for her toes. You can do them pointy or round either way. And then let's draw her wing. A bumpy line for the feathers. A couple more lines to add feathers there. And you've got the basic shape. Now Petunia on the cover, she's walking very proudly with her eyes closed. So I'm gonna do a curve line like that. Give her a little smile in her nostril. And then one of my favorite parts about this illustration is the fun kind of flowers, wheat, grasses that are around her. And you can make these up however you want. Some can go behind her. Some can go in front of her. And then remember, when you draw something in front, erase that line. Different grasses. I wonder what you'll think of to put. Sometimes there's a little butterfly or a dragonfly around her. It feels like spring. Okay, so that's our pencil drawing. If you have a Sharpie, or any kind of black marker. It looks nice to go back and outline. You guys have done this before. And then if you have a bigger eraser, that works. If you have an eraser on the back of your pencil, that works too, to erase any extra marks. And you can change your drawing as you go with this Sharpie. But these are your final marks, so go slow and be careful. And if you just leave it a pencil drawing, that's okay too. So once I erase those pencil lines, whatever you have at home, if you have watercolors, if you have colored pencils, if you have markers, you can even use markers and then add water and it becomes paint. So try to be creative, even crayons. And it's also lovely as just a black and white drawing. So have fun with that and I'll see you soon.